Hello YouTube, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Lego Ninjago Legacy Set 70666. It is called the Overlord Dragon Battle, and it is actually a remake of an original 2013 set. I wish I could tell you that I had my original Golden Ninja to compare it to, but unfortunately the body plastic broke, so I can't. And I don't have the um, Golden Master Overlord either because he's very expensive. So I can't really do a comparison in this one, but I can still review the set. So um, on the actual set itself, you have um, a Golden Dragon. It's using, um, not, it's got an actual mould um, for the head. Instead of being brick built like some of the more recent ones have been, it's got like this green thing that I can shut out to mouth, which makes it look, in all honesty, this does make it look a little bit awkward. Like, if you wanted to like to make a really good final battle thing, I recommend you'd get this and the Overlord Dragon. I don't actually have the Overlord Dragon, but if you wanted to make quite a good final battle thing, only using Legacy stuff, then I'd recommend you get this and the Legacy Overlord Dragon battle. You get, um, <sighs> you get this flag, which is quite good. You get claws, oh no, one of mine's come off, unfortunately. Um, toes, you get wings. Um, I know this set isn't very, some of it, part of it's controversial, which I can see. I'd, I'd say the dragon's probably on par with the original. To be honest, you got like a little, I'm not sure what the correct term is, but I'll say saddle. So yeah, this is um, the Lloyd's Golden Dragon, which you probably won't ever use again. And, except in the start of Rebooted. Speaking of Lloyd, here he is in his um, ultimate Spinjitzu Master form. Um, he is a pretty good figure. Um, if this is a remake of like the Kimono from Season 2, then I hope we get more Kimono um, Legacy Ninjas soon. But looks like they've already moved on to doing Legacy of um, Season 4 and 5s now. But still, this is a good figure. If you take his um, head off, he's got an old, an alternate, quite angry expression. And on his other side, he's got a quite a angry, furious at the Overlord expression. So that's it for the Golden Ninja. Here we have the sto the sco the Stone Scout, I believe. Green face printing. The other one that I've got is actually got blue face printing. Um, body similar to the Day of the Departed. Um, Stone Warriors. He's got a quiver on his back, so he's probably a stone archer, actually. He's got the new um, mould for the helmet, which is probably a little bit controversial for some people. I don't mind it. It could be better, but it's a good helmet piece all in all. Um, no alternate expression for him. Just the regular short legs, and um, yeah, that's it for the Stone Warrior. And now we get into probably the best figure in the set, the Overlord. Now, this technically isn't canon. Like, this figure is not canon. It doesn't look like how he did in the show. I mean, there's some resemblance. Like, it's sort of um, a mix between Season 3 Overlord and Season 2 Overlord. It's because, like, you've got the Golden Master thing. You've also got the Helmet of Shadows on him. And, like, he's sort of, like, in a ghost ghoulish form. Um, no alternate expression. If I do take his helmet off, um, you can see... He has like got a translucent purple head as well. So yeah. He's a really, really good figure actually. Um no, I wouldn't say I like him as much as the original Golden Master though. But yeah. So that's it for my review of 70666, the Golden Dragon from 2019. I hope you enjoyed. Um please remember to like and subscribe and I hope you have an amazing day. Peace out.